Todoroki. Kidding, it's Red Lightning, and welcome back to another reading my fanfiction, My Year Academia One Shots. So we should just get started. Okay, the first day. This chapter will be between chapter 2 to 4 of one last chapter. It's the first day of UA for Katsupuku Academy High School. Emi Fukudaro, also known as Ms. Joke, stands in front of the class and everyone was seated. Eri got scared about the new faces and hid hide behind Emmy's legs. Yoshindo raises, raised out my back, raised his hands, hand up. Yes, Shin, yes, Shindo, said Emmy. Um, Miss Joke, who is that little girl be hiding behind your legs? Asked Shindo. Oh, this is uh, Razorhead's daughter, Eri, said Emmy. Um, um, hi, said Eri. Hey, Eri, I need to start class. Can you go over to that desk and draw in the coloring book, said Emmy. Eri nodded and walked over to the desk and waved at Izuku and Daria, then sat down at the desk and started coloring. <laughs> Alright everyone, I know it has been a rough morning in, into moving the dorms and now attending UA, but don't worry, everyone here have the same goal, which is to be heroes, said Emmy. Then when Miss Joke was about to say something, she was interrupted by snoring. Her and her and the class look over at Shota Izawa, also known as Eraserhead, sleeping on the ground in a sleeping bag. Is he always like this? said him, asked Emmy. Yes, said the class, say all of class 1A. Well, I guess that it makes sense since he is a nighttime hero, said Emmy. Well, let's continue because I know Eraser, Eraser students already know each other and my students already know each other. So I'm going to give Eraser, give Eraser students a, a paper with my student's name on it. And the name you get, you'll be partner, will be your partner. You'll have until the end of the week, week to get to know that person, and write a paper about that person. For it could be easier to, for my students who won't be, it would for it be easier. My students will be getting a paper with Razor students' names. You will just be paired with the student who gets your name. Said Emmy while taking out a bag with papers of her, her students' names on it. What's the point of on getting to know each other? Asked Bakugo angrily. Because it's important to get along with your classmates. For you can help each other in the future, said Emmy. Bakugo grabbed a paper and read, the st read it and said the student's name out loud. It was, it was not revealed all of Miss Joke's students, so I'm just going to use two of them for now. Izuku got a paper and read it. Yo Shindo, said Izuku. Funny enough, Yo Shindo was sitting next to him. Nice, said, said Shindo while taking out his hand for to fist bump Izuku. Oops. Later, it's Ochako Yoraka's turn. Ochako Yoraka uh, Choraka takes out a paper. Takami Nakagame. <laughs> I can't say his names, said Ochako. And like Mizuku and Shindo, they were sitting next to each other. Sweet, said Takami. The rest of the class got their partner. Got, got their partners. I just remembered. The, the rest of the day will be doing team bonding activities that is still related to your class, said Emmy. Then Shota started snoring loudly again. You know what, said Emmy while grabbing a washable marker. Miss Joke, are you sure? Well, sure, this is a smart idea, asked Tenya ten Ida. It's all right, Ida, said Emmy. She draws cat whiskers on Shota's face and a little nose on his, on his nose. While Emmy was drawing on Shota's face, the class was trying to keep in, in their laughter, including Airy. After Miss Joke was done, the school bell rang and Shota woke up. Did you explain everything? Said, asked Shota to Emmy. Yep, said Emmy while trying not to laugh. Eri picked up her stuff and walked to Shota, also trying not to laugh. Then President, uh, President, President Mike came in. In all right, who's ready to learn about? But said Mike, but he stopped himself when he saw Shota's face. Mike started laughing. What are you laughing at? Uh, asked Shota, have you seen yourself? said Mike. Then the class couldn't keep it in any longer. They started laughing. Shota took out his phone and pressed the camera button and saw himself. Joke! said Shota angrily. Well, I gotta go! said Emmy while I'm running out the door with Shota chasing after her and Eri chasing after him. Okay, now for the next chapter. <laughs> Okay, for the next chapter, it is a serious talk. S said before one last chapter, Himiko Toga was in her apartment and couldn't sleep. She couldn't stop thinking about Dobby. He kissed her, but why? Why did he tell her about, about uh, a part of his past? 
She decided to get out her pajamas and put on some clothes. She knew where Dobby's apartment was. They began walking to it. But Toka didn't know that Bo Dobby was also awake. Why did I kiss her? And why do I feel this way when I see her? Dobby asked himself in his head. He was in his kitchen. When then he heard a knock on his door, he went to open it. He was shocked to see Toga. Toga noticed Dobby wasn't wearing a shirt and started to blush. What are you doing here, Toga? asked Dobby. Um, can we talk? asked, asked Toga. Sure, said Dobby, while, while letting, letting Toga in. They sat down on the couch. What is you, what is you wanted to talk about? asked Dobby. Why did you kiss me and tell me some parts of your life? asked Toga. I don't know, maybe it's because I understand what happened to you and maybe because I have feelings for you, said Dobby. Toga looked at Dobby and, and looked into his eyes. I guess you waited till, until I was 18, right? said Toga. Um, yeah, I pushed my feelings down and I can't hold it back any longer, said Dobby. Then Dobby, then Dobby pushed Toga onto the couch and kissed her. Of course, Toga kissed back. Then Dobby picked up Toga bridal style, bridal, bridal style, and carried her into his bedroom. And you can guess what happened next. I remember someone commenting saying they they sat on their bed and watched these kind of videos. And I think it's in my reboot. Oh well. Well, that is all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to read the fan fiction for yourself, you can find the link to the fan fiction in the description below. But anyways, that is all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you're going to be seeing some words in 3, 2, 1.